Hi, Choice here. Thank you again for joining me for another session of Choice Spirit. Here it is. I'm back again talking about manifestation. Okay? Talking about uh, manifesting the life that you desire. Uh, uh, law of attraction. Law of vibration. Uh, law of attraction. Law of vibration. Um, and how this works. Let me tell you, they say that those people who lack the knowledge to know that it's not possible are usually the ones that make it possible. Real talk. Because they don't have sense enough to know that it's impossible to do, that it's, that's one. The other one is, they haven't had anyone telling them throughout their entire life that they weren't good enough and they actually believed it. That's number two. The other one is they had someone telling them they weren't good enough all of their life uh, growing up through most of their life and they refused to believe it. Just refuse to allow someone else's depiction of them, someone else's idea of them, prophecy of them, <laughs> be, be their reality. Somewhere something clicked where they said, not, not me. And they began to focus and they made up their mind and that at that point that that, that that other person saw for them would not be their reality. So all of this plays a part in manifestation. It all plays a part. Because if you're crazy enough to do something not knowing that it's impossible to do, chances are you're going to succeed if you keep at it and just become so strong-willed with such great courage and determination you continue to move forward. You continue regardless to what it looks like on the outside. You just keep moving forward. There are people that manifest like this. Now you have another type of people that spend so much time in their mind and heart space that they're guided as to what to do and when to do it. Doesn't mean that they don't work hard. It doesn't mean that they're not working what one would say smart. But there's a difference in working hard and working smart. But hard. Yeah. And so in the manifestation process you have to have a little bit of that that naive that naivety that doesn't allow you enough brilliance <laughs> to listen to those <laughs> that say you're stupid or, or you're ignorant for trying or you don't know what you're doing or what are you doing or why are you doing it you know uh why do you want this? Why do you want that? Oh, you know, girl, or oh, man, or whatever. You, you, you might as well stop dreaming. The dream becomes real. Dreams do come true, and they become real when you play that tune, you connect with that, that vibratory frequency of whatever it is that you desire, and you don't look back. It's like you go out there and there is no way back. So everything that you do is, is part of a momentum of something within you guiding, in you guiding you and showing you the way even when other people don't see it. And even when you continue in spite of the, the obstacles and various hindrances and, and, and various things that you put up that will, you know, give you give you a run for your money it will give you a run for your money if you're out there 
You know, there will be some things that put you to the test. You will be tested as a, how, how, how much do you want this? But there's many things that attribute to that also. A lot, most often, we ask for things. We want to manifest things that we are not ready for. We, we are not ready for it. And I know this firsthand. There were things that <laughs> I had this way of saying, yeah, I like that. And it would show up. Somehow it would show up. A perfect example, a manufactured clothes, did women's clothing uh, thing, line. And I wanted to, I wanted my own factory. I wanted to manufacture, you know, I, at the time it was like, Designers did not go direct to the public. Designers went through, uh, uh, they had a middleman, they had uh, you design, then it went to a manufacturer, after a manufacturer or whatever, it went into a wholesale house, from a wholesale house, it went, or a distributor, it went into the market, you know, it was sold wholesale, and then then to the end user, the retailer. It basically went something like that. I may be skipping something, but basically, that's how it, w there was a process. It wasn't about the designers selling in mass quantities direct to the retailer and or the end user, the consumer. And so I had this idea that I just wanted my own factory. Things happen to make that a reality where I had this three floor building with various machines of all sorts and all kinds. I didn't know what to do with the machine. I didn't know anything to do, to do about hiring people. I did not know anything about the industry, anything about anything, but I had a building, I had a factory with three floors of various machines that did all types of work. And I did not know what to do with it. Now there's some people when they're determined and they are full of themselves so much so, they would have they would have just continued they would have found a way to make that work I had some other things going on that made it where I felt like oh what am I going to do with all of this and what am I going to do when it's time to pay rent for all of this and and how am I going to find the people and begin employing them and I don't know who to hire because I don't know the type of machines. I have to do some work. I have to do some research. So there's a thing that happens when we ask for something. It is given to us. It is, you know, some natural way. It comes into our space. It comes into our, our existence. And if we are not ready for it, it can be overwhelming. So something happens to prepare you for that which you are asking, for that which you are asking. There are things that have to take place so that it's like, you know, it's like preparedness meeting opportunity. When you're prepared and the opportunity presents themselves. Some say you only get one or two. It's not so. It seems from my experience, that every time you have your mind, you think something, and it keeps coming. Somewhere, the universe orchestrates things to make it possible. The other thing is, the other thing is, is to be in the right state of mind to be able to recognize the opportunity when it's presented. 
I mean, we can, uh, people get themselves caught up in relationships or with business partners or with whatever, and the opportunity is right there. It's right there. But the, it's right in front of their face. And they give up because they're not able to see it or the fear kicks in where I believe it happened in my case number of times where I backed out of something that was right there for me to just like the floor I talked about the ground appearing below your foot as you take a step the, it shows itself it's almost like that story about walking on water oh ye have so little faith you know just walk on the water so it's basically like that when the opportunity presents itself you continue to move forward you go inward and you spend a little time communing and you're asking for the guidance and and you're you just keep going you keep going go within commune with that which is within you and you keep you, you allow the ground, you allow the bridge, you allow the floor or whatever to appear under your every step because that's how it works. That's how it works. We are manifesting all day, every moment, every second, every, every breath. We are manifestors. We are creators. We, that's who we are. Our energy, that the energy within us is, is that. And the frequency is what forms, gives the energy shape. So think of that term, the, the passion within and the excitement and the knowing and the, the power of courage and will and determination and and appreciation being the frequency that begins to form the energy that begins to bring shape to that which then appears in your life with all of that said let me tell you a good way get some images we talk about vision boards Make sure you go in. I'm always talking about, you know, first seek the kingdom. Well, as you're dealing with the seeking your kingdom, also move forward. Don't, don't try to sit and wait. Never wait. Unless it's something within you that tells you to hold up, wait a minute, go this way or that way. Hold up, wait a minute, pray, meditate, sit, and be still. Unless you understand that and you, you know that language, you know that language. This is, this is the way. But while you, while you, with that said, with that said, get you videos. Turn down the volume unless it's something that you desire. Because a lot of the music and stuff that they have now that they give you, they give you free music to put on your videos, those musics have, have frequencies attached to it. And you don't always know what those frequencies are. They're embedded in the, the music. So some of the time, there may be, I'm not saying all, I'm not saying all. Some people put out some very pure stuff that puts put out very pure, very good vibing sounds and music. So it's not the, the people per se, it's other folk that want to control stuff. You know, not, to be, not to be fearful or to stop your flow, but you know, like I said, recognize the game, okay? So some videos, you want the imagery but you may not, you may retake the, in, the imagery and leave the, the music, the sound, or bring another sound into it that opens you up to receive, you know? And, and, and make sure you play that often. 
have a series of them in the direction that you choose to go. You know, now they have the 3D. Find those videos and begin to play them and know that whatever it is that you're calling back, you're calling forth. Remember the words, appreciation. You know, appreciation, appreciation, appreciation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Beautiful. Love it. One high vibe words. High vibe words. But watch it often. And eventually, things will begin to change. Now, if you're not one that needs that, and let me say this. See, what happens is we make things so complicated. <laughs> All of you know how to visualize something when you want to visualize something. Let's keep it clean. But all of you don't have an issue visualizing certain things. Come into your mind clear as day. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Get that happy about your life. <laughs> Get that happy about your life. Find those images and have one of those experiences with those various type images. You know the experience I'm talking about. Come, come back from that other stuff. Put in some new things. <laughs> Make the view beautiful. <laughs> hey, thank you for joining me again for another session of Choice Spirit. And um, a little bit more manifestation. Uh, thank you so very much. Please hit the subscribe, um, share, help me to grow this channel. Namaste. And thank you so much for joining me again for another session of Choice Spirit. Peace.